Hey Spider, how are you? It's Spidey. Mr. Spidey Cat. Yeah, big guy. What's up you guys? Sean Allen here. It is literally about 1 o'clock in the morning. It hasn't even been 12 hours. Well, it's going to be 12 hours in about another hour or so since we lost um, Sylvester. It's going to be hard to get used to because um, throughout the last several days uh, he was cooped up on one of our rocking chairs in the living room. Um, like literally this afternoon, um, I uh, looked in there expecting to see him, but um, he wasn't there. So my brain is telling me that he is there, but when I my eyes see it, it's he's not there. So it's going to be a little difficult, of course, but you know, as time goes along, um, I'll we we'll all move along. But yesterday wasn't the happiest day. Um, I'm literally just about to post the video that I shot from yesterday. You watched it on Sunday. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. The link will be in the description. Um, but basically, um, on Saturday, March 4th, uh, we lost our cat, Sylvester. And I made a little video for Sylvester. I mean, I didn't really include any clips of Sylvester. There's like one picture of him in the video. I just couldn't really create a video of compiling a bunch of things about Sylvester. But I just wasn't in the mood to do that. I hope you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Um, by the way, the collar, Sylvester's collar, is right here on the design display. We had a gray tabby um, named Sweet Pea, who was kind of like Spidey in a way, but he was a bit more cautious. He wasn't as energetic as Spidey. He uh, was very cautious, but as time went along, he really became one of the sweetest cats I've ever had the chance of meeting. And... He was actually the one that brought Sylvester to us, literally. Uh, the day that my mom saw Sylvester for the very first time, they were out in the backyard, um, and Sylvester was chasing Sweet Pea around the, uh, the backyard area. He looked like he was well-fed, but it was because he was so fluffy that it really... Uh, it, it, it was confusing because he was so fluffy that we thought he was well-fed, but when my dad went to pick him up, he was very light. So obviously he wasn't well taken care of. So um, I think like a few weeks later he became a part of our family. And literally Sweet Pea was the one that introduced him to us. <laughs> As you probably guessed, this video is not about the cats. It's about my dad's garden, which I know some of you have been asking about. Um, we'll get to that. But I just wanted to mention that story because I didn't mention it in yesterday's video. And there was a bunch of other stuff I wanted to mention about Sylvester in this other video. But they might be safe saved for other times but um i just wanted to speak what was on my mind yesterday so again if you haven't seen the video go and check it out the link will be down below in the description oh just as i turn on the camera there's a cat fight out here yikes here is the wind vane or the windmill whatever you want to call it it's right here i built this I don't remember how long ago it was, but I built it, and it's on YouTube. You guys can see me build it. And this took me a few hours. But yep, that's pretty cool. And it does work still. It's starting to sprinkle out here. Yeah, it is a little cloudy. That's pretty cool. So, here we go. This is the chard. And as you can see, uh, we got some new growth here. Wow, this is actually looking pretty good. Good grief. Now, you're probably asking yourselves, which is better, spinach or chard? Well, my dad has said that chard is better, but you know what? I think it goes both ways. I like spinach, too, but we got chard, and oh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, <laughs> it's me, Mickey. And here's our strawberries right here. Well, <coughs> it's going to get into a point where the strawberries may be fading like that one right there. Let's see here. My uh, boysenberry vines are starting to come back a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. We got some, I think this is rosemary. Is that right? I think I might be wrong about that, but I'll check. 
but uh, we do have some new herbs that we'll be putting in here soon. I mean, the blueberry vine was right in this pot here, but that died, unfortunately. Over here, we've got our, whoa, we got a big spider web there. <laughs> we got the cabbage here. Oh, gee, it's back at it again. Um, we've got our cabbage plants, plants over here, and they look like they're going to be turning into cabbage patch kids at some point. We got broccoli right over here. The broccoli kind of got a little overgrown, as you can probably guess. And this is the Brussels sprouts here, what's left of it. Here's the lemon tree. And the grape tree is starting to look like it's getting something here, like some buds here, which is pretty cool. We'll be getting some new grapefruits here. And wow, this is the other orange tree, or I guess you, I guess in a way this is kind of turning into a tree, but we're getting some new growth here, and it's going to be turning into flowers soon. It's pretty cool, but these lemons are still here. And uh, this is turned the wrong way. There we go. Oh, there's one orange right there. Over here, we also had the sugar snap peas. I did spot one over here. Oh, here it is. It's a little bigger than before, but there it is. We got some we got some peas in here. Uh, we got some flowers there. Once those are pollinated and taken care of, they'll turn into the sugar snap peas. Oh, here's a good one right here. Wow. You know, at first I was looking at these, I was like, eh, they're not looking so good, but I guess I was wrong. We're actually getting a few sugar snap peas. Maybe not a lot as what we should be getting, but um, as you can probably guess, the garden is kind of a little bit overgrown, just a little bit. And this is my dad's garden, by the way. This, is not, this isn't this is my garden, but goodness gracious, uh, this is pretty cool. This does look like it's getting chewed up on just a little bit. But um, anyways, yeah, that's the garden for you. The broccoli may need to be taken out. Here's some new crops, you guys. We got new crops here, including new herbs. This is all organic stuff, no pesticides or anything. Here we have an early girl. Is this early girl? Oh, uh, hold on, I might be wrong about this one. Oh, best boy, sorry. We do have an early girl tomato in here, I just saw it. But uh, this is a best boy tomato plant right here. What's this one? Got another tomato plant here. That's another best boy. I thought it's not early girl. Here it is, here's the early girl. My dad loves the early girls because they are huge. Um, but this is the early girl right here. Kind of tell the difference between the stems there. Just a little bit. Um, let's see what we got here. Super sweet. Super sweet. And I think these are zucchini plants here. Green zucchini, green zucchini, green zucchini. Very cool. And these are the herbs. And I think I was wrong about the last one that I mentioned. I think this is thyme. I think that was what I was saying that I thought it was rosemary. This is the rosemary. Whoops, I was really wrong. I was way off. This is rosemary right here. Yeah. That's rosemary. This is not onions. It's actually green banner. Well, I guess it is kind of like... It looks like onions. I think it is, actually. But um, here we also have oregano. My mom loves oregano right here. And this is parsley, obviously. Italian parsley. So, yeah, we got some new stuff here. We are going to be probably growing some more cucumbers. Or Actually, we were trying to a few months back, but that didn't work. But uh, obviously, we got some new crops coming in. And I don't know where they'll be planted, but um, we'll probably have a, ch a cherry tomato plant. The grapevine is right here. This is our grapevine. Well, this is the grapevine right here. It looks dead. But don't worry, it will be coming back. It always does this. It dies off, and then it comes back bigger and better than ever and it's still growing into the orange tree right there but if you guys remember from my previous vlogs the grapevine had a ton of grapes this last year like a ton and I'm really looking forward to that the blackberry vines also got a lot of blackberries on there as well so I'm looking forward to it and uh, that's pretty much the garden for you folks the garden is uh, you know it is what it is and it may not be in the best of shape right now, but you know what? There's been times where we've had really terrible gardens. There have been times where we had really good gardens. Uh, at some point here, we'll probably, you know, really expand on getting more stuff in here. So yeah, this is the garden, folks. And uh, that's the update for you. And it's actually starting to rain. I better get out of here before my camera dies. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It's greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my other three channels. The Educational Series, the Disneyland Video Series, and the Travel Town Series. And I guess that's it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. End scene.